Hey, it's Celeste with Body Prayer Yoga, welcoming you to day eight of our 30 day, 30 minutes a day of yoga challenge. I do have blocks and a strap with me for today. So if you have a strap, please go ahead and grab it. You could use a belt, you could use a long uh, um, scarf as well. Anything to allow yourself to be able to stretch your arms nice and long holding onto something. I definitely recommend eventually investing in a yoga strap because it's just a beautiful tool to have by your side. So as we arrive, let's take a full nourishing breath in. Exhale to release. Another one just like that with eyes closed to go more inward. Half mass if that feels better for you. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take our arms nice and long, reaching high towards the heavens. Exhale, we're going to press out through our palms and allow the hands to come back behind us, interlacing fingers. Draw your hands down and away from your body. So immediately, boom, you feel your shoulder heads open up. And then you probably your heart is also just kind of reaching forward. We want to keep some activation here. So allow your spine and low ribs to draw in. So feel this opening here in the shoulders. Today is about warriors and shoulders. So we're gonna just gently warm up the shoulders a little bit here. That's why the strap is really helpful for that. And then just a gentle sway side to side. So feel into your side body here as you make that half moon shape. And then your fists are gonna reach towards the opposite side that you're dipping. Beautiful back at center. Let's just release that shoulder rolls here. So up, back, down. So we're just going to go through that a couple of times and then you're going to switch direction. So I like to do this when I wake up. Just get the shoulders moving. Beautiful and back the other way. One more time and switch. Last time. Beautiful. Grab your strap. Then we're going to go ahead and unravel here so it's nice and long. And you're gonna hold onto your belt and allow your hands to open up a little bit wider than shoulder distance. So feel here first. You know your body better than I do. So if there's anything going on in your shoulders, just be aware. Any old shoulder injuries that are prohibiting. So even if you're here, 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 it's all good. We want to use the strap to basically hold our arms nice and straight away from our bodies, gripping here and then allowing yourselves to reach as high as your body allows. So here I'm holding my hands up above overhead, strap nice and tight here. And then I'm going to widen out just a little bit and allow my arms to dip back, my hands to dip back just a little bit. I have already noticed that my midsection want to, wanted to disengage. So again, drawing that belly button in so you feel that activation. And you can keep going as far, again, as your body allows. We never want to force anything. So just feeling here, taking as many breaths as you need. With the inhale through your nose, exhale out of the mouth or having your lips sealed and allowing your breath to come in and out through your nose. And we're just holding here for a moment Ooh. and just surrender, release, let go as you allow your arms to come back down right in front of you. So just take a moment here, feel into the shoulders. We're gonna go right back up or as high as your body allows, drawing your arms up lengthening as long as possible and then we're going to dip over so here just making that half moon shape taking a dip off to your side you want to go pretty far as far as you can before you topple over and then come right back at center reach and then switch sides so dipping over to the opposite side breathing Keep holding that strap nice and tight. And back at center, beautiful. One more time, release back, release back. Engage midsection, drawing navel in towards your spine. 
and exhale, release. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and put the strap off to the side. So we're not going to need it anymore. And so reach high and back, down. Reach high, back, and down. And then we're going to go the opposite direction. Just really tapping into our shoulder mobility here. Beautiful. Open nice and wide. Wide, wide, wide. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Letting your heart just shine forward. And exhale. We're going to bring them back cross at the wrists. Beautiful. Holding on to shins, feet, whatever you have. Inhale. Lift your head high towards the heavens. And take an exhale as you draw your chin in towards your chest. Inhale. Let's open wide like a star. Exhale. Close it again one more time. Lift and rise, reach nice and wide and allow your arms to come back down by your side. Let's move off of anything we may be seated on, off to the side, all fours first and then send the hips back towards your heels. So an active child's pose here where your knees are wide, reaching forward. So kind of just sway side to side here as we arrive. Now maybe feeling this in the inside of your hips. Beautiful. And then like we're swimming, press firmly into your left hand into the mat. Send your right hand in towards your body. Lift high, reach up and over. Press that hand back down and go now to the left side. Sending that hand in towards your body, lifting up and over, back down. I'm going to do that a couple of times. Pair movement with breath. You got it. Up and over, up and over. Like we're swimming. Ooh, it's nice and warm here in the Midwest during this time. So swimming is on the mind, apparently. One more full cycle, both sides. Beautiful. And then allow yourself to just rest down towards the mat. Take a couple of breaths here. Beautiful. We're going to go into our all fours position. This should feel familiar. So press your palms, slightly grip your mat. Maybe the knuckles lift up a little bit. Inhale. You're going to lift your gaze forward. Even if eyes are closed, arching your spine. Exhale, round to release, let go. One more full cycle, just like that. Beautiful release, and this time tuck your toes, shift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take the feet pretty wide here and press through the heels. Not important if they touch. I'm sure you've heard me say that before, but it's just a gentle reminder. Breathe here. Walk your hands in towards your body. Really press into your fingertips here. Remember kickstands for bikes? Press into your fingertips so they're like a kickstand for your body. And really allow your hips to draw back even further. Beautiful. Firm press in your feet and then slowly rise to stand all the way. Take your time. No rush. And exhale. Arms come down. So let's step our feet back on the mat. Pressing here. Inhale. Let's lift and rise and reach all the way. Exhale. Fold. Let go. Inhale, press up halfway, back is straight. Exhale, take a generous bend in both knees and then we're gonna walk out towards the other side of the mat. Nice and long, plank pose here. So press away from the mat. Again, just like we did on all fours, palms press, slightly grip the mat. Knees can come down at any time. Take another full breath here. Just a little bit of a Teaser, as later on in the challenge, we will work towards a minute plank hold. Yes, we will. And then allow yourself to lower all the way. Inhale, press palms, tops of the feet into the mat as your elbows draw in. Exhale, release. So cobra two more times. Oh, one of my favorite back bends. Feel steady, firm and strong here as you lift your head and chest. And exhale, send those Hips back, one more time, reaching forward. 
Beautiful, allow yourself to come to your high kneel as you reach up towards the sky. We're gonna dip over to the left and then draw navel in towards the spine. Send your right foot forward and bring it flat. So immediately we go into this lunge here, but instead of taking a back bend, allow your navel to draw in towards your spine. Feel the length out of your hips, nice and tall here. Beautiful. Exhale, release. We're going to tuck the back toes, lift on up, send right foot to meet left, downward facing dog. Take a breath here and exhale. Draw your left knee forward, come down on your right. Inhale, let's lift up. So notice again, if immediately you're going into like a deeper lunge where your low ribs are drawing forward, we want to press them in towards the spine and reach. Feel this here, feel the heat that is generating from holding this pose, but allow your breath to flow. And exhale, send the fingertips down. Let's lift the hips high, 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 and send the left foot to meet the right, downward, face, downward facing dog. Take a full nourishing breath here. Notice the ebb and flow of your breath. Look towards the top of the mat and take that walk on up. Inhale, press up halfway. Exhale, fold, let go. Inhale, let's reach and rise all the way. And exhale, arms down by your side. Beautiful. So we're going to take a step back with our left foot. So step it back. Hips are kind of not aligned right now. So what I'm going to do is face towards the front of the mat. Notice what I'm doing with my back foot here so that I can become steady and firm in my wide stance here. Inhale, reach your arms on up, warrior one. So closed hips towards the short edge of the mat. Lifting high with the fingertips. So warrior poses, they are some of my favorites, some of my favorites to hold for several breaths as you work towards keeping your focus right here in the present moment. Beautiful, take your exhale, release down, lift high in your hips, send right foot to meet the left downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, allow your left knee to draw forward, front foot flat, back foot flat. Inhale, let's lift on up. Notice your hips, so bring awareness to how they're placed. Notice if that right hip is kind of jetting back, you want to draw it forward to align with the left as much as possible. So reach, feel yourself here as you hold your pose, activating that sense within as a warrior. You got it. Everyone doing this challenge is warrior. On your exhale, allow your arms to come down by your side. Let's go ahead and interlace fingers right behind, just like we started, press your Hands away, down and away from your body. Feel that opening of your chest. Navel draws in, you got it. And with your next exhale, take a humble forward fold. So we're folding towards the top leg, hovering over that top thigh. Beautiful, breathe. And lift on up, you got it. Release, reach high towards the heavens. This time we're gonna step forward into our mountain pose arms down by our sides oh, beautiful so allow yourself to just arrive here walk it out shake it out whatever just kind of helps you to reset to release what we just did and come back to your mat nice and tall feet flat arms down by your side mountain pose take a full breath here just like we integrated in an earlier practice becoming a meditation in action. So that means just truly focus right here, present moment. And inhale, let's reach. Exhale, take a fold as you draw down towards the earth, let go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a generous bend. We're gonna step the left foot back, keep your right foot forward, really press into both feet. And this time we're gonna cartwheel that left arm up and over. So reach back with your left fingertips and forward with the right. So almost like someone is gently grabbing your fingertips and drawing them away from each other. You got this. 
and then really press into your feet and make any adjustments that feels good and right. So it could be widening it out a little bit, it could be walking that front foot in towards the midline of your mat. Really press into your feet, allow your hips to sink a little bit here, navel draws in towards your spine and reach. Beautiful. So holding the poses allows us to really focus in on what's important right here on the mat, which again, which again is presence. Slowing down the movements of the mind to keep ourselves from thinking about the past or even the future. It becomes more important how we hold the pose, how we hold ourselves high here so that we may take those same qualities off of the mat. Beautiful. Another full breath here as you hold. You got it. And as you exhale, you're going to send that left hand forward. And then notice, so this left hip is nice and open here, which is great for warrior two, but we want to close. So we're going to spin onto those back toes, maybe even step hop that back foot forward just a little bit so that you can feel into your firm hold here. Reach high back to warrior one. Beautiful. Exhale, step forward, mountain pose, arms down by your side, release, let that go. Readjust so, you, so that you feel nice and firm here in your tall mountain pose, breathing here. With your next inhale, let's reach high. Exhale, fold, let go. Inhale, press up halfway. And this time you're gonna step your right foot back. So let's go ahead and flatten that back foot and then reach your right arm up and over so that it's, you're sending that energy back behind you. Right hip opens, boom, I'll turn around. <laughs> so right hip opens, reaching back, and then left fingertips reaching forward. You got it. So here you'll notice your front side body is facing the long side of the mat. Open hips here. So again, just readjust so that you feel firm in your feet, feel nice and heavy, but then that energy draws up, out through the fingertips, out through the crown of the head. You got it. Beautiful. Take another inhale and a full surrendering exhale. Allow that left knee to be looking forward as opposed to dipping in towards the midline of your mat. So sometimes, I know sometimes the cues sound a little funny, but you just work them into your body so that you feel steady and firm. And then we're going to take that giant step forward. Oh, and then just release that out. Shake it out through your legs. You got it. Maybe even shake it out a little bit through the wrists. Facing the short end of your mat back to your mountain pose. Breathe here. Let it in and out. Inhale, lift and rise and reach all the way. Exhale, fold as you let go. Inhale, we're gonna press up halfway. So stay here for a moment. If you have your blocks, I would say go ahead and grab them. I'm just gonna bring them in. Yeah, I love blocks because they lift the ground up. So you can feel even more firm here in your halfway lift. So back is straight, neck is an extension of your spine. Feel this lengthening down the backside of your legs. Beautiful, we're gonna take an inhale. So as we're pressing either into the ground or into the blocks, you're going to lift your left heel towards your bottom, and then you're gonna send that left heel out back behind you. So really pressing into your right foot. So prepping here for warrior three. Beautiful, so halfway left. Feel that long line from the crown of your head down to the back of your left heel. Lift it maybe just a little bit higher. And then what if you were to reach your right hand forward? So off of the block, off of the mat. Really firmly press into your right foot. Lift that inner ankle, you got it. What if you were to release your left hand to reach out? Woo, hold here, you got it. Replace hands back onto the blocks or mat and release your left foot down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, let go. Inhale, let's reach and rise all the way. And exhale, arms down by your side. Take a nourishing breath in here. 
and fully release it out. Inhale, lift, reach. Exhale, fold, let go. Inhale, you're going to press up halfway. So again, hands back on the blocks if that feels better and you do have them by your side. So nice, long spine here. Take an exhale as you bend your right knee, draw your right heel towards your body. So feel here for a moment as you press into your left foot, bringing your weight, equilibrium back towards center and reach that right heel back behind you. So lifting that right heel up just a little bit. Focus here. Kind of just feeling the awareness of your hips in this moment, making a line from the left to the right side. And then when you're ready, reach that left arm out in front of you. And maybe your right follows as well. Ooh, take your time, no rush. And this time, to release, we're going to stand nice and tall. Fingertips are reaching high. And exhale, arms down by your side. Oh, yeah, shake that out. Beautiful. So I want you to notice that engagement that, you're, that you should feel already in your shoulders, your arms, and always keeping the cues of navel drawn in towards your spine. We're going to go through those three together um, for this beautiful warriors and shoulders practice. So let's make our way back to... Top of the mat, I'm gonna switch sides here. Awesome. So inhale, lift and rise and reach. Exhale, fold, let go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you're gonna take a bend, step your left foot back so right foot is forward. Remember, closed hips towards the top of the mat. Inhale, reach. You got it. Reach and rise all the way. Exhale, take a fold, release it down. Send your hips up nice and high. Right foot meets left in downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, draw your left knee forward, front and back foot flat. So press into your feet, root to rise, reach all the way. Feel this here. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Even as we hold poses, we let the breath flow. And with your next exhale, you're gonna release down, send those hips up nice and high, left meets right, downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, let's send that right knee forward, front and back foot flat. This time we're gonna cartwheel that left arm up and back, reaching forward. You got it, your warrior two right here. Hold your pose and exhale. We're gonna bring both hands back down towards the mat. Spin onto those back toes, lift high in your hips. Right foot meets left, downward facing dog. Take another grounding, nourishing breath here. Steady your breath, steady your mind. And with your next exhale, you're gonna draw your left foot forward. So left foot flat back foot flat reach that right arm up and over so you're reaching back with right fingertips forward with left you got it feel here make any adjustments as you need feeling nice and tall out of your hips but reaching forward and back with your fingertips and that gaze is steady on the tip of the left finger middle finger that is breathing here Beautiful, let's step forward, reach high towards the heavens. Oh, that was a big step. Exhale, cascade down towards the earth, let go. Inhale, press up halfway. We're gonna take a generous bend in both knees. Really press into your right foot and send that left leg long behind you. Take an inhale here. Maybe you're reaching forward with both hands. You got it, press out through that back heel. And exhale, fold, Woo release, let go. But this time we're gonna stay here and allow that left leg to reach as high as it'll possibly go before bringing that left foot back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a juicy fold, let go. Inhale, back to your halfway lift. So really press into your feet here for a moment, feel that here, but then bend your right knee and then send that right foot nice and long back behind you. Leg long right here, 
press into your left foot and then reach on up. Take your time. Notice how that back leg may start to dip down. You want to lift it. Lift, 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 and then root to rise. Reach up nice and high and exhale, arms down by your side. Ooh, take a steady breath here. marveling at your own strength and determination feeling like a warrior especially after all those warrior poses beautiful inhale lift reach exhale fold as you let it go inhale halfway lift exhale take a bend we're going to step back with the left followed by the right finding our way to all fours going into your cat cow sequence of inhale Lifting your gaze forward, hips reaching up, nice arch in your back, and exhale, round, let go. Beautiful, slide your hands in, coming to your high kneel as you reach and rise. And exhale, press out through your palms. So we're going to take that interlacing of fingers one more time, closing the palms towards each other and allowing the hands to draw down and back. Beautiful. Just breathing here. We're going to go ahead and take a seat towards the heels. So there's this lifting of the shoulders. Well, not so much a lifting, but an opening. That's the word I'm looking for, an opening of the shoulders here. And with your exhale, allow yourself to fold all the way down, press your forehead into the mat, and then roll towards the crown of your head, lifting your hands away so that you can feel that opposition. So we're not trying to jump into our head here, taking this rabbit pose as it's called, but if it doesn't feel good and right, just roll back onto your forehead and allow this to be more of like a active child's pose. Or you could take this pretty gentle inversion. Again, our weight is not bearing down. You'll feel a little pressure, but you're lifting away. Lift, lift, lift your hands and your arms away from your head. And then slowly roll back to release. Come to your low kneel. Release the clasp of your fingers and allow your hands to come towards your thighs. Oh, just take in your breath. Take an inhale, exhale, allow your right ear to go towards your right shoulder, stretching your left side of your neck nice and long. Back at center, take an inhale, exhale, left ear over left shoulder. Continuing to breathe. Beautiful, back at center. We're gonna take a comfortable seat. So as comfortable for you, grab your strap. We're just gonna feel into this one last time. So just noticing how we feel now and how we came into the practice. So lifting high here, stretching your hands out to about shoulder distance. Take an inhale as you lift high out of your hips. Dip over towards one side, you got it, like a teapot, but let your heart shine forward. Back at center, over to the opposite side. Back at center, and then we're going to release, let that go. Let's go back into our shoulder rolls, just a couple here, and Opposite direction, you got it. Hmm. Beautiful. So we're gonna make our way nice and long on the mat. You can use your blanket. I'm gonna show you one way to use a folded blanket, just underneath your knees. So we're going to lay nice and flat. If you don't have a folded blanket, it's okay. Just rolling on down nice and long allowing yourself to really just surrender over the mat, over the earth. 
Take a full nourishing breath in. Exhale to release. Another one just like that. Allowing this final pose for us to truly surrender and release. Just let go of the practice. Let go of those wandering thoughts that are coming in, already pulling you away to what awaits you. We want to draw that energy just right here, back to the present moment. So truly there's nothing left for you to do but to rest. Beautiful. Let's allow ourselves this moment to draw the knees in towards your chest when you're ready. And grab a hold in the gentle rock side to side. Make circles with your toes in the air to get into your ankles. Beautiful. Roll over towards one side, then allow yourself to pick yourself up, finding your way into your comfortable seat. Whether you are using blanket or bolster. And as we arrive, take a full nourishing breath in. Surrendering, exhale, release, let go. Hands can come towards your heart in prayer or rest them right in your lap. But I thank you, I honor you for again joining in on this challenge. Congratulations. Day eight is now in the books. I will see you back here for day nine. Namaste.